All right, well, good morning, everyone. And uh, it's Thursday. About, I don't know, 10 o'clock or something. So we kind of slept in, just got done eating, as you saw, some breakfast. We had some bacon and eggs. Got the awning to work. Our awning wouldn't work. Stupid electric awning. If you guys have an Airstream with an electric awning, it's the only thing I don't like about, you can only get a manual awning unless you special order it unless it comes with a flying cloud. So, but the International Serenities and Globetrotters come with a fancy electric awning myself. I, I've never liked it because like, what if it stops working or what if you have a problem with it or something? I don't know, I'd just rather have a manual awning. Uh, but, Jet, let's tell everybody about our first night at the Knoxville Nationals. What do you think? It was really fun. It's pretty cool pretty cool um, clearly you've seen that we I underestimated this um, but where we're at is actually really cool because we're not in a in a campground we're at a in like a parking lot there's obviously other campers but this is like a real quiet mellow version of compared to what's going on or by the track there's just campers there's campers everywhere there's people camped out in people's yards I mean it looks like Saturday in the park times 25 here so <laughs> but uh, we are gonna get some ball caps and I brought some of those you know like fishing masks you know this the gator the gator gator things that go around your neck around your face um, so we're gonna wear hats and then we have we stopped obviously at you know yesterday we stopped and got some safety glasses because the there's just so much wind from the wings of those sprint cars. So we had safety glasses because you get covered in dirt. So, but yeah, all in all, it was pretty sweet. We seen Rico, we seen, pretty sure it was Kyle Larson, um, just on the first night. So uh, we actually, it was faster for us to walk. We're about eight blocks from where we're at in this parking lot to the racetrack. And there was traffic, I mean, jammed up. The city of Knoxville, is not set up for this much traffic at all um so we're gonna get some drone footage here in a little bit and then we're gonna Scooter. get our scooters and ride it to the trailers and kind of just fart around i think tomorrow we're gonna um go to the museum the sprint car museum hall of fame or whatever it's called try to get there early so that way it's not too crowded but that's what we're doing right now so figure we'd fill you in our first night experience was really awesome it was really humid really thick so like we were just soaking wet and then the dirt it was just like you're wet from sweating and then the dirt <laughs> it's quite the experience <laughs> so anyhow all right well stick with us here as we go along through Thursday fun activities. All right, everybody, thanks. We are getting ready to head over to the racetrack and get us uh, maybe a couple ball caps and maybe a long sleeve shirt or something. So we're gonna ride the uh, electric scooters and head on in town. So here we go. Let's do it. Made it to the track. Yeah. Got the uh, the items all locked up here. So big storm to the south just gonna miss us over here. 11:20 in the morning. Just we walk around and see what's going on. Yeah. 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 Maybe get a couple hats or uh, t-shirts or something. Oh, there's Ivy right over there. All right. Cool. All right, let's go walk around. I'll show you some of the vendor tents, huh? 
modified little sprint cars for the boo boo. Check them out, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, yeah cool, huh? Mm -hmm, too. They're six bucks. Huh? Yeah, we'll huh? have to get cash something like that, huh? Look at this one. Feel how soft that tire is. Look at these like coolant bleeds or something. I don't know if that's where it's, if the fuel is injected right there. Maybe. I don't know, man. Looks pretty from badass though, huh? Yeah. Pretty crazy. See the cockpit? Check it out. It's where they sit down in there. Man, that'd be fun. It'd be really fun, huh? Yeah. Oh, my fights? Yeah. USMTS, man. Pretty sweet. See white tags. You'd be better off getting a hoodie. The hoodies are pretty cool, huh? You can get a hoodie for 40 bucks versus those t-shirts for 30 for a long sleeve, you know? Official souvenir. So we have like, uh, I think officially made it into like the pits. This is like a parking lot. And there's a bunch of haulers back here and over here. So we're gonna walk around, and take a look at some of these hot rods. But pretty much, I think this is the pits. I would say, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I got a question, are these are these some type of like coolant bleeds for the cylinder heads? They're nozzles for the that that's the injection for the fuel. Really? So the, the fuel the fuel don't go down the intake runner, it goes like almost like direct injection? Yes, yeah, In yeah, it's direct head injection. Direct head injection? Wow. Because I was like, they're either coolant bleeds or they're they're like directed right into the cylinder head, huh? Yeah, they're fuel lines. That's crazy. So is it du is it double injected or what's the ones on top? If you want to run two nozzles at the same time. So, but you, but to do that, you have to 
run different orifices. So the fuel is actually injected into down here below then, yeah? Yeah. Solid billet uh, aluminum block. Yeah. How, many, how many cubic inch are these? 410. 410 cubic inch? How many RPM do these motors turn? 86 highs. Woo! Some guys turn them 9 grand. Wow. I'll get out of your guys' way if I'm in your way. Let me know. You're good. I assume that's where all the oil is held. This is the dry sump? Uh, yeah. It, yeah, the, the oil tank and the oil pumps there. How much do these things weigh? What's our lightest motor, Kev? Do you remember? Like the whole cart. Oh, the whole car? Yeah. Um, with 10 gallons in the tank and the driver in it, this thing weighs 1475. 1475? Probably what? Like how many horsepower would you guess? This thing, uh, at the crank, probably like 940 to 950. Oh my God. <laughs> Almost a thousand horse at 1500 pounds? Yeah. Well, good luck. Thanks for answering some questions. No worries. Happy day. Yeah, you too. Here's Kyle Larson, the guy that we seen last night. In the 17. Are these like a crate motor in a sense? They, they say that Speedway all pro and on the heads? Uh, it's small block Chevy, but it ain't no crate motor. No? I didn't know if there was like a spec crate motor that they ran in these. No, just cubic inch rule. Just 410 cubic inch? Yep. Did this one run last night? Yep. Did it? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. yeah that's cool, the roll cage, man. They didn't even paint it. It looks like chrome molly. No, it's clear coated. Is it clear coated? Yeah. Is it chrome molly? Is it? That's cool. Uh, they, they didn't paint it. You can see all the welds. Look at the brakes up front. The brakes? That's where the wheels go. See the brakes? Oh yeah, I remember. You're looking brake. Yeah. Wow. Look how small the radiator is, man. Are these alcohol injected? Yeah. Are they? Yeah, I like how it's clear coated. That's sweet. I think that thing up there, I think, is so they can move the wing back if they if they want it to go backwards. Once it goes back, I don't think it can go forward after that. I don't know much about sprint cars. Man, that's cool. What drives me nuts is like your legs go right in between that big shaft. See how they don't have a transmission? It goes straight from the motor to the rear end, so that's why they gotta have them push started because there's no rear end. So when they got like an in and out, in an out box or something so that's why the trucks will get behind them and push them because that'll turn the back wheels and that's what starts the motor up yeah there's no transmission it's direct drive pretty cool Oh, hey, check it out. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Keep the pen. Wow. I take the pictures. Like I said, I have so many doubles and stuff like that. Awesome. Like print doubles. We can any of that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you. It's right there. So. That's the driver? Yeah. Sheldon. Really? No way. I would never guess that. Yeah. Go there and make it happen, buddy. All right. Hey, you want to go get his autograph? Sweet. 
Dude, I would have never, I would have never guessed. Don't take it the wrong way. I didn't know that you were driving. The guy's like, hey, that's the driver of that car. I'm like, no yeah. way. The guy that's wiping it down. That's sweet. Yeah. Well, you're a pretty humble person, man. I'll tell you that much. I said you didn't expect to. I didn't expect a driver to be sitting here wiping his own car down. You know what I mean? I, I knew I knew the driver had to be pretty pretty tiny. Cool, huh? Yeah. This you guys first time here? Yeah, first yeah. time. Yeah. First time in the sprint car race? Um well we've been to sprint cars before, but I'm gonna give that back to that guy. Thank you very much. Yeah. We've seen sprint cars before, but nothing on this scale, you yeah. know? First we've, time first time to the Nashville, uh or not Nashville, I say. We've done like NHRA. Yeah. We've done NASCAR, and I said, hey, let's yep. go to Knoxville and yeah, check yeah. out the sprint cars. Where you know? are you from? Uh, Sioux City, Iowa. Nice. It's so about three and a half hours away. That's crazy. It's the first time you're, you're that close. How'd you get into racing? My you're dad. Not, your dad? Is, yeah. hey, you're not very old. How old are you? 27. 27? Yeah. I knew yeah. you had to be, somebody had to be pretty small getting that seat. Yeah, That's what, yeah. like 14 inches or yeah, something? Yeah, 13. 13? Yeah. Yeah. Now it's my 10th or 11th year racing sprint oh. car stuff. So. Okay, so you've been doing a long time. Yeah, my whole life. Now your dad's still a racer or he kind yeah, of just trained? This is his last year, so he's in the yellow 22 car down there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he's been doing it 40 plus years. So got, your dad must have like a farm or something. I mean, I mean, I know it takes big sponsors, but man, these haulers and everything, it's big time money. Uh, he's just, I mean, he's been doing it since 1975, so he's just, it's all he's ever done. He's never had a job. Wait a minute, is this full blown race car? Yeah. Really? I've never had a job, that's all I've ever done. This is your job? Yeah. Well, yep. How'd you how'd you do last night? I, I uh, we ran sixth. Sixth? Yeah. Yeah. So does last night does that have any adverse effect on you know the next coming nights or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, so or? they do all points deal. So I didn't qualify well, so I'm thirteenth in points, which you pretty much need to be top seven. Okay. So I'll probably have to race on Friday and like redo it to try and get in the show Saturday. So it's all points deal, which is tough. That's why it pays so much. It's not easy. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we've been to a lot of a lot of racing events, you know. But I was yeah. like, let's go check out these World Outlaws. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Awesome. You guys want to check out the trailer? For real? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, sweet. <laughs> How you doing? Pretty good, how are you? Good, I'm Chad. Chad? Yeah. I'm Drew. Drew, that's Jet. Jet? Like I'm the Drew. plane. How and then your name was? Sheldon. Sheldon, I'm Chad. Nice to meet you. And that's Jet. Nice to meet you. So we got three full time crew guys. Drew does all our tires. We got another guy that does all the car maintenance. And then the crew chief who does all the engine maintenance, keeps these boys in line, and no way. manages all our time. That's awesome. So then, all right, we got three cars with us at all times. Our primary car, two spare cars. We got car upstairs, <laughs> engine ready to rip. What? Yeah. No way. So they pretty much live out of this rig. We race 90 times a year. So like, all this stuff is, you know, pre-done in the winter and ready to bolt on if we need it. So you guys are just every weekend, you guys are gone. Yeah, it's three days a week we race. Cool, yeah. cool. All our stuff's all preset, ready to wear. Spare rear end, spare wings, spare tires. Yeah, spare everything. Spare everything. Front axle. Front, front axle. So they can change the front end in two minutes. Like if we've been while. Have you have you ever flipped over? Oh yeah, all the time. All the time. Oh, wait, air conditioning here, Jet. Check this out. Hey. Dang. So like Drew, he's doing them tires, but like all these, he has, uh, you know, he mounts them, he measures them, uh, he puts these grooves in them, and then he'll uh, cut them later in the night. Feel how soft that is. Yeah, they're pretty much good for one, one, good one for, or two races. Yeah, like last night, how it gets dry and yep. you kind of burn it off. Yep. Here's the goodie box. So like same with all this stuff. All the high end joints. Here's spill it a little bit. So this is all titanium bolts. Like Ti that is. Titanium? <laughs> wow. So no all these way. bolts are built specific for each. <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah. This is sick, dude. <laughs> so we probably got like five grand worth of bolts on I was just car. gonna say one of them titanium bolts is probably like twenty-five bucks. All aluminum nuts. No way. Shock drawer, all our fittings. Like these like these are three hundred bucks. 
What? Yeah. That's for a brake line. Quick disconnect. Quick disconnect for the brake line with AN fittings? Yeah. Holy moly, man. So, all, yeah, just all this stuff. Gotta have it with us because we don't go back to our shop. Where's, where's your guys's, where are you guys located at? Indy. Like Indianapolis? Yep. So I've been to the Indy 500. I've been to the Kentucky Derby. Yeah. Never been in the Knoxville Nationals, so right? Like all the, just jammed up. But like, everything's just pre-done. This is not. Who gets to draw, drive the hauler, this big rig? All three of the guys drive. Oh, really? Our brake rotors are all titanium. No way, man. This is crazy. So they got all the goods. Shock dyno. So Ripper will dyno shocks between every run, pretty much. Really? So he can dyno shocks, brings it up on his computer. <laughs> What's this, dude? Oh, my mind's blown right yeah. now, dude. This so is this engine will be, our, this is our primary spare. So this one's ready to drop in. So if we blow an engine, we can change one, have it running 10, 10 minutes. Wow. Yeah. So then I said that that's obviously direct injected there. And then where's the, is that in the rear end, the in out box? Yep. Okay. Yep. Cause he was, I was explaining to him, they don't have a transmission. So one, two, three, four, one in the car, five, one upstairs. Wow. No this way. other stuff this is my little section. With the AC. Nothing special. See, like here we gotta unload so we don't get to take our semis in. You so, take a card in, you know, like a card in yeah. or whatever. So like I have to put my stuff in there. It's all easy. We got a living lounge up here. Yeah. They got a little spot for the guys to show up. You look behind you, so that car back there has an engine in it ready to rent. And then this one here is a this is just we call it a kit car. So, so this like one probably we were, ran a couple years ago or something? Uh, no, we ran it this year. Okay. So like if we were to crash a car, we would leave that primary one alone and we would swap everything we could and put on this one and just leave that back one. Go. Wow. Then they got a little hangout area, bathroom. <laughs> usually a uh, ripper will ride back here and then two guys will drive. Really? They can actually ride back here? Yeah, he'll ride back here schedule all his hotels that's half his job is just scheduling all our stops and know where we're going dude you're very very lucky man yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is pretty cool yeah this stuff's sick that's, i love showing people this because this is what i want to see when i go watch stuff yeah like i'm a big motocross fan i got a couple buddies that work on motocross bikes and they'll take me through their rigs and like i got my own rig but i love seeing other people's stuff yeah yeah, I've been to Supercross down yep. in Phoenix and, and uh, stuff like that and yep. raced dirt bikes when I was younger. Yep. And so that's how I grew up. I raced dirt bikes from 4 to 16 and then I got in a car. Yeah, I got a cage. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cage, get a cage. Your first bike was it like a PW50? Yep. That was yep. I still got it. Do you really? Yeah. I had, uh, my first bike was a PW50 and I had it for the longest time and then somebody broke into our garage and stole it. Yeah. Yeah, mine was white and had the pink. <laughs> yeah, that was old school. Old school, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like all the there's a ton of spare parts up there too like i said they gotta have everything for every situation so like we'll be gone for two months pretty easily sometimes okay yeah like I, so i left home i'm from ohio they stay out of indy but i won't be home till the 25th the next month and that's for like two days so even when you do get home it's not like you have time to get a bunch of work done right it's kind of just like a place to work you know we work in parking lots every day yeah as i was saying we were walking this way and then we happened to see all the haulers i'm like this must be where like they must have like their bits or something you know yeah, well just for this event is like no other like if you were to go to something else it, it wouldn't be like this this event's awesome yeah it's pretty it's pretty cool yeah we got covered with dirt last night yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah exactly did you just get here yesterday? Or yeah, we got here yesterday. Are you been going home every night? Or? No, we, we brought our camper. Oh, nice. So we're about eight blocks away. We're oh, staying perfect. at like some uh, little parking lot or whatever. So Yeah, perfect. Yeah, we just walked over. Yeah, so I, I live in my motor home full time. Yeah. Yeah. So how often do you guys like move that wing back then? Uh, quite a bit. Do you? Yeah, move, move? I didn't really move it last night, but like, yeah, you know, usually every night you're moving it in the future. So, depending on obviously when the track is probably a when little bit. When the track gets slower, you get that wing back, get that air over the back tires. Okay. 
Yeah. Once it goes back, you can't push it back forward, no, right? No, you can. Oh, you, what? You yeah. can? Yeah. Wow. It's just on a wing ram. Hydraulic. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know if it was the wind slid it back, and once it was no. back, you're done. Nope, you adjust that. Wow. Now, is there brake bias in these at all, as no. far as front and rear? No. no? Three. I have three brakes on mine. Okay, so the bone in the back, and then the two steers? Two in the back, one on the left front. Oh, really? No right yeah. front brake? <clears throat> yeah. I have a helmet addiction. Helmet addiction? Yeah. <laughs> was fresh yesterday. Pretty cool. You guys obviously wear the, the Hans device or whatever? Yep, yep. Yeah. They make you wear all that. How many tear offs, depending on how heavy the track is? Uh, you go yeah, off so through last a lot. Night, I pulled 12 last night. You pull from the left or the right? I pull from the left. You pull from the left. Yeah, everybody pulls from the right though. That's but what I did when I, I ran, pulled yeah. from the right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I spent like, I probably spent 1500 bucks a year on tear offs. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta see though. <laughs> oh shoot. It's in gear, out of gear. Okay. You, and then you just push start it, turn your fuel on, hit your switch. It's not in there right now, but you're running. No tack. Uh, yeah, there's a tack. They just take it out to wash. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the tack will be, you can read it through that little hole. And then your brake, your brake, does your like foot, does your foot yeah, like so rotate slides, forward? Yep. That's what's kind of weird, but you get in it, and I mean, they're really good. All titanium. So what? Working. What? I mean, you're kind of a smaller guy. What if you're? Is there bigger guys that run these things? I mean, how do you? Do... They just get to see. Bigger. You know what I'm saying? Like a like yeah. a well, like Tony Stewart's kind of a big guy. Yeah. So they like they just got bigger seats. That's it. They'll stuff them in there. I mean, like mine's got a bunch of room, but they'll make one that goes from rail to rail. Obviously, quick change rear end. You guys just pop off that back cover, change your gears out. Yeah. So it's crazy, like our engine changes, like all our fuel lines are in quick disconnects, okay. all our water lines, so it's, it's six bolts in the headers to take the engine out. So like, this is a brand new car that we brought out just for this race, which a lot of people do. What's the the deal with like the does that must be some type of bleed or something for for the fuel? Uh yeah, like? the fuel just sit, seeps out of it sometimes. Yep. Car carbon fiber. Yeah, all carbon. So they only weigh fourteen hundred pounds. It probably weighs like thirteen hundred something without me. Are you guys required to wear it run run mufflers for this track? Yeah. I wondered last night when we got here, They're I was quiet. like, man, it, it didn't seem as loud as I thought it would be. Yep, so these are really quiet with these mufflers. These are our quietest mufflers that we run, and then... This track requires it, but yeah. does it we cut down on horsepower a little bit? Uh, maybe a little bit. And the air has been really bad last couple nights, so... Well, it's been humid as hell. Yeah, these things, they struggle a little bit more with that bad air. Do you prefer it to be no muffler, or...? Yeah, no muffler. <laughs> they sound way better. Is this like a like a shock to keep That's the front? Just a little dampener. Dampener to keep the stuff wiggles so much. To try to slow it down. Yeah. They kind of they put some of those on like the front end of uh, like Harley Davidsons and stuff yep, with the fairing. Yep. That's actually what that's off of. Really? Yeah. Off of Harley? Uh, maybe not a Harley, but, but some a, sort like of a motorcycle. motorcycle? Yeah. 
Not a lot of people know that. But like our stuff vibrates and flexes so much. Like if you watch a slow-mo video, like how much this moves and how much that moves, mm -hmm. our front wheels move through a lot of weight. And this is, that's not like a sway bar, is it? Where? This, this right here? This? Yeah. No, this is a torsion bar. Torsion so it's like bar? a shock. So you got your shock and your torsion bars. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. What's up, boss? What's up? Yep, so you, you got four torsion bars and four shocks. Is this from last night? Yeah. It's pretty crazy, huh? Oh, yeah. That's wild. Very cool, man. Thank you again. Yeah. Appreciate it so much. No worries. Okay. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Have fun this week. We will. Thank you. Yeah. Turbo Tastic. All right, so this is really cool, <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yeah, real cool. Four ten. Spark plugs are right here. And then yeah. Ignition wires. Yeah. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, all quick quick fittings. Yeah. Hey, this one's drop in ready to go. In case they blow a motor, we're, we're running, dude. Yeah. Hey, they even got the gauges on it. That's crazy. These guys don't play around These are 410s? Yeah, 410 cubic inches. So we're just leaving. <clears throat> so we're just leaving the pit. The pits, uh, I guess you could call them the pits. And uh, what a cool experience. Yeah. You don't realize how much money these things are until you go and they start showing you titanium bolts. I mean, when they're using titanium bolts on their race car, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. What a cool experience this is. Um, very cool. So having a really good time so far down here in Knoxville. Got to go get some merchandise and uh, get back to the camper and make some lunch. All right, I'm gonna just pick them up. Here, you you, you hold the camera. All right. All right, let's see. Mom says we have to save the praying mantis. Do they bite? No. <laughs> I had two of them in my uh, How do you grab it? Hey, you just grab it. Oh my god. All right. We got to put them in a tree or a bush, mom said. Let them There, we saved him. Yo, Alvin, you hooked me up, bro. <laughs> Freaked me out a little bit. He says, thanks, Chad. Appreciate you putting me on this big tree. I'm stuck on that camper. <laughs> Later, dudes. <laughs> Jet's got his 
official Sheldon. You got your official Sheldon, whatever his name is. I forgot his name. Looks good, huh? You want to hurry? It's starting to sprinkle now. Oh man, right, sprinkle. Good. All right, so we're gonna go try to get closer to the track, get some drone footage that we need, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh no. All right, see ya. I don't know. I think we're gonna get rained out. I think we're gonna get rained out here. It's gonna go ooh, thundering over there. I don't know, Jet. I think we're gonna get caught in the rain. I think we better. Yeah. I think we better kick it here. Why don't we take your truck? Let's go. Get the keys. We uh, we realized. Damn. Serious Industries thing. Ah, uh, there we go. We realized that uh, we don't have any seasoning for our chicken or any like chipotle sauce or nothing at all. So we gotta run. We we're gonna take our scooters, but it's raining now. Um, into town. We are in town. Oh my goodness. Um, to, uh, yeah. Get some seasoning and uh, some condiments. We don't have any of that. There's nothing in the camper. So we're going to go into Hy-Vee. Here we go. A nice one. We're uh, just showed up at the, the Hy-Vee here. We got a small little thunder storm coming through. So, me and Jack got our sprint car hats on. Okay. Yeah, official fans. <laughs> oh dang, Jet! Look, it's the number seventeen. Hey. Who's who, who's holler one in there with you? Huh? Yeah, we went we went in that guy's holler. Yeah, boy, Sheldon. Ha, look, he's right there. We didn't even know he was famous. That's the funny thing is, is we didn't even know this dude was famous. It's like we just thought he was just cleaning the car. You want to come check out my holder? Oh hell yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll come look at it. Alright. Oh, right. You're they're not gonna have any of your wild style sauce here in this high V. So you could pick another another sauce that may be pretty good. Ranch. Ranch? You want some ranch? Look at this. Ranch. Smokehouse original. I bet that's good. Secret sauce. It's like a Hidden Valley Ranch. Look. All right, that'll work pretty good. You like it? No, I can't. Huh? Yes. Yeah. 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 Knoxville High baby. What else do we need to get? Walk around. Mm. It's raining outside. We're just chilling, chilling in the uh, cafeteria area here. I'm dead. Yeah. yeah. It should be done right here pretty soon. About 15 minutes? Yeah, then we're gonna try to get some drone footage of the track.
screen. All right, what's up everyone? This is night number two. It's uh, about 8.30. They're gonna start hot laps at nine because it got, obviously, that it, out a little. yeah, obviously you saw earlier that it, it rained out and this lens is really sweating. The lens is sweating here, so. Yeah, so it's about 8.30, so they're gonna be, it's gonna be a late one tonight, but tonight's night number two of the show of these guys trying to get in. So they took eight from last night, they'll take eight from tonight, that'll be 16, and then they'll take four more tomorrow on Friday night, and then they'll take four more on Saturday. So, yeah. Jet, you excited for night number two? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Hopefully uh, it's not as dusty, but we got hats and we got um, our neck gaiters and stuff to try to keep us from getting so covered up with some dirt. Which should be wet. No. Yeah, track should be pretty heavy. We'll see. See how it goes. So anyhow, heading over the track now. Yep. So me and me and Jet just saw. Uh, the, the brightest meteorite meteor whatever uh it was glowing green i thought it was a firework at first it was green it was a green white yeah green and white and then it like turned to like reddish orange when it burned up um i thought somebody shoot off shot off like a flare or something i was looking up at the moon right up here and it come crashing down that way it was badass i wish i would have got it on film but uh we didn't Thank you. 